Chepe de Baña es un programa controversial para la gente de la calle en San José, Costa Rica. Aquí estamos en la zona residencial y vamos para el Parque Nacional. Ok, Chepe de Baña means the citizens take charge of uh, showering you and give you some food. It's a, a non-profit program for the people in the streets. Now they have a concert here to get some funds. And here in the uh, Les Abana, which is a very residential area. Over there, uh, we have the Royal Mixer Silver, named after Ernest Romser, a German who had a big um, place there. So, let's see. Bueno, esta es la zona residencial de La Sabana y aquí tenemos uh, el Parque Nacional de La Sabana en lindas montañas, aunque estamos en el invierno. Yeah, this is La Sabana, which is a residential area, high-rise buildings surrounded by mountains and this beautiful park, and the traffic area is in town. Some people are being killed. I'll be there across the street. I'll, I'll try to do it now. Yeah. Oops, this is it. And there are some uh, concerts going on here to raise funds for this program. Bueno, entonces vamos a entrar al, al Estadio Nacional en unos minutos. Yeah. We're going into the national um, football stadium. So let's find out what's going on in here and make make our contribution to to the cause. It's uh, it's very controversial in Costa Rica. People pretend to have a high standard of living. They're many migrants also, and they think the country is rich, but this is not the American dream. So many people stay on the streets, stay there overnight, some are drug addicts too. And there we go, uh, yeah, we're going in, and the music, oh, there are mangoes, mango with salt, the salt is typical, I'm, I, I'm having, tengo un programa. Thank you, thank you. This was. Thank you very much, you're very friendly. Uh, he is, he may be from Haiti, but has, has learned to be kind as Costa Ricans are. Él puede ser de aquí, pero es una persona que, que está aquí uh, uh, vendiendo mango, es típico de ellos, los costarricenses no, no lo hacen. I want to have my contribution. Por, por, ¿Qué es este programa? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Chepe se baña. Ajá, ¿de qué se trata? Uh, Do you have someone here to explain you? Él está preguntando. Someone. Ah, allá. Oh, yeah. oh, but too far. I'm going in there. So, voy, voy a ir adentro porque estoy con la cámara ahí. Pasas aquí. Thank you. Soy adulto mayor. Yo ahorita voy a hacer... Es que estoy haciendo un, un programa para mi YouTube. Entonces, bueno, yo, yo ahorita es paso. Esa es la entradita. Eh, Thank you. Ahí, cuando, cuando sale, me la regresa, por favor. Sí. There you go. Well, most of the people that are coming to this place are not precisely uh, uh, street mobs or street panhandlers. La mayoría de la gente que viene hoy aquí no es la que está en la calle, que necesita el dinero o la comida. Muchos de ellos son vagabundos o drogadictos. Uh, sino que viene gente a ver el concierto. You guys, hablan inglés. Hablan inglés, no. ¿Qué les gusta? ¿Por qué vienen aquí? You like it? Oh, okay. Fine. Uh, Costa Rica is a shy away. Their English is not always that, that good. So, they're slow and getting involved. Oh, 
bueno, los costarricenses en realidad no hablan mucho inglés. Eh, son las cosas que me he dado cuenta. Y a veces cuando les hablo en inglés, dicen hablo un poquito, pero no mucho. There you go. Y 
Busca en YouTube. Daniel is a Costa Rican. Yeah, he's blonde and blue eye, but he's full Costa Rican. Daniel, you speak some English, do you? Yes. I speak English, English. also. Well, why do you? Why are you coming to this concert? Uh, this concert is it's great. I like this. You, you, uh, and and the groups are national from Costa Rica. Uh, Cadejo, it's a great uh, a great band, and, and El Guato. Okay. Uh, it's fun. It's very bad. Bueno, Darío es un joven adulto costarricense de voz azul. Perdón. Eh, no, no, estoy mencionando que usted es un parece norteamericano. Pues ah, y asiste sí. aquí al concierto. No, no. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué le gusta? Costa Rica es un repatriado guy. ¿Por qué le gusta ahora en español para nuestra audiencia? ¿Cómo? ¿Por qué le gusta el concierto pero en español? En español. ¿Qué me gusta? Ah, bueno, eh, pues todo, la, primero que todo, la, el trasfondo del concierto que es ayudar a los, a los indigentes de yeah, Costa Rica. Sí, supporting de los sí. homeless eh, Costa Rica. Eso es lo primero, ayudarlos y también este, de, sí, disfrutar el, 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 las bandas nacionales. Enjoy your bands here. Hello, well, uh, Daniel, anything else for uh, our fans? ¿Perdón? Algo más para sus... Para, ah. No, de disfrutar de la vida, yeah, enjoy life. hacer el bien, ayudar a quien yes. se pueda ayudar. Doing good help, you want to. Nice talking to you. There you go. Bye bye. Final arrangements for uh, this other group's uh, uh, presentation of this show. Case. You know, guys, there's always some preliminary. Eh, Darío, en la noche, todavía no. Darío, en la noche. Algo pasa con él. Está cercado, está cercado. Pásalo todo, pásalo todo. Pruébalo. Hey, you guys. Diga Costa Rica con la mano de gato. Porque el local está bien. Costa Rica, pura vida. Puedo ponerlo en la Well, Costa Ricans are proud of their country, and uh, uh, you might remember, you guys, that Costa Rica has uh, one of the best five democratic countries of the world. To some extent, the country really works. The problem is with homeless on the streets, many migrants, many Costa Ricans who don't have education, and who have come from bad homes. Many of them are uh, uh, fell into delinquency. El problema en Costa Rica está en que a pesar de que los jóvenes son orgullosos de su país, hay mucha gente de la calle, muchísimos migrantes, otros nacionales, que no se dedican a delinquir. Well, these are the preliminaries. You guys, come on. Well, nowadays in Costa Rica, people are kind of distrustful. Uh, I've been asking some people to get involved in some uh, conversation or interviews, and it's been declined. Well, this mostly because these are uh, the people from the capital. He tratado de pedir a alguna gente que participe en las entrevistas, pero dicen que no, son jóvenes. En la capital son un poquitito más delicados para muchas cosas. En la provincia la gente es un poquito más abierta. You know, eh, estos son los chicos de la nueva Millennials, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Que en un país como este es un poquito uh, más delicadito, ¿verdad? I guess that Millennials are this way everywhere. Like in Costa Rica, a country with a uh, big uh, milk class. Well, they have not served over. I won't be here long, but I expect to. Well, you can see, guys. Uh, they are talking in Spanish because they are Costa Rican groups. Como pueden observar, estos grupos son de Costa Rica. 
porque están aquí hablando en español todos son digamos chicos yeah they are from uh, music down here in Costa Rica has been a um, uh, uh, very uh, may I say a um, uh, big culture dating for 40 years so, or more they're, they're good musicians already entonces hay muy buenos músicos en Costa Rica y ha ido por más de 50 años well there you go there's a red haired guy over there he didn't want to interview but it's curious I asked him his, his typical Costa Rica the red, red hair <laughs> Ya, ya, ya. Padre. Oh. Rápidamente me inicio. Hago placas 743610. 743610 con las luces encendidas. Some are coming here with skateboards, so that means they are their teens. But most of them that I see are past 18 or 20, 21, 22. La mayoría de los jóvenes están aquí, pueden ser de uh, 25, 23 años para arriba, aunque se ven algunos jóvenes, no jóvenes, no muchos. that much time I had to go some other places and it's gonna rain so the console will get a little bit tougher now hey vamos a esperar un poquito más porque si no tengo que irme está empezando a llover Gracias amigos, ya vamos a empezar. Gracias.
There's going to be some other uh, uh, groups here uh, in this residential area, the National uh, Football uh, Stadium. Today, van a ver varios conjuntos aquí, no solo hoy, sino otra vez al día. Well, I'm here at the La Sabana. This is the Hilton Hotel, and um, the National um, Football Stadium. And uh, the concert is over there. Now we're heading to the uh, Rohrmoser Boulevard, named after the German Austrian Ernest Rohrmoser, who used to own all these lands. So that's why this sector is called Rohrmoser. It's a high class uh, uh, suburb uh, where many wealthy people live. And not so wealthy, but with money. And I feel that I'm going to McDonald's or maybe Starbucks to have some chocolate. Entonces, ese es el Boulevard de Romuser, eh, de Ernesto Romuser, que fue un alemán austriaco que tenía estas fincas y se nombró a su nombre. Eh, las familias más poderosas del país aquí eh, viven. In bueno, por lo menos los que tienen un poco de dinero. Uh, let's just have money, but uh, 
you know that not everybody who shows or pretends to be rich are really rich. Sometimes their money is uh, is gained on not proper means, but yeah. Oh my God, prices for uh, less than ten dollars for a burger, and this this one goes for three dollars. Just out of three dollars, and then into the Rormoser Boulevard. I'm going to another uh, store, convenience store, so as to buy some fresh uh, stuff. Yeah, you get this Mac menu for 2,790 colonnas, which is about five dollars. Okay. My goodness sake. Uh, let's turn out. Uh, it's it's sunnier now. That was a, that was about rain. Yeah, it was about rain when I first came, but now they're sunny, and I haven't soaked food before I leave.